for each function given as a table, we want to determine if the function is linear. If it is linear, we want to give the slope. If it's not linear, we'll enter DNE for the slope. If this table represents a linear function, then the change of f divided by the change of x must remain constant throughout this entire table. Another way to think of this is, the change of y divided by the change of x must remain constant, which if it does, would be the slope of the line containing these ordered pairs. So we're going to work through this table, determining the change of f divided by the change of x using two ordered pairs. We'll begin by using these two ordered pairs here. Notice how the change of f, or the change in the function value, would be 21 minus 12.5, which is equal to 8.5. And the change of x would be 2 minus 1, or 1. And therefore, delta f divided by delta x would be 8.5 divided by 1, which is just 8.5. Now we'll do the same thing using these two ordered pairs and see if we get the same constant for the change of f divided by the change of x. Well, notice here, delta f would be equal to 80.5 minus 21, which is 59.5. And then the change of x would be 9 minus 2, which is equal to 7. Therefore, we have 59.5 divided by 7, which again is equal to 8.5 for the change of f divided by the change of x, or delta f divided by delta x. Now we'll continue using these two ordered pairs. So delta f, the change of f, would be 157 minus 80.5, which is equal to 76.5. And delta x would be 18 minus 9, which is 9. And therefore, we have 76.5 divided by 9, which again is equal to 8.5. Notice so far, the change of f divided by the change of x remains constant. And now for the last step, we'll use these two ordered pairs. So delta f is equal to 165.5 minus 157 which is equal to 8.5. And notice how delta x would be 19 minus 18, which is 1. And notice how delta f divided by delta x, once again, would be 8.5. So the main thing to notice here is the ratio of delta f to delta f remains constant at 8.5 throughout this entire table. And therefore, we can say the behavior is linear and the slope is 8.5. To verify this graphically, notice how if we plot these ordered pairs on the coordinate plane, we can sketch a line passing through all five points. Let's take a look at a second example. We'll begin by determining delta f divided by delta x using these two ordered pairs. So delta f with a change in the function value is equal to 43 minus 19, which is equal to 24 change of x is equal to 9 minus 3, which is 6. So delta f divided by delta x would be 24 divided by 6, which equals 4. Now we'll move along to the next two ordered pairs, these two ordered pairs here. The change in the function value, or delta f, is equal to 47 minus 43, which is equal to 4. Notice the change in x, or delta x, is 11 minus 9, which is 2. Notice in this case, the change in the function value divided by the change of x is equal to positive 2. Because this ratio does not remain constant throughout this table, that means this function is not linear. So we can go ahead and stop here and say the behavior is not linear. And because of this, we type in DNE for the slope. So as soon as we recognize this ratio is not constant throughout the table, we can stop and say this function is not linear. To verify this graphically, notice how if we plot these five ordered pairs on the coordinate plane, we would not be able to sketch a line containing all five points. I hope you found this explanation helpful.